The hook I am using is a Gamagatsu inline octopus SE 4X strong in size 4 aught. And the thread is Danville's 210 flat waxed. Bring your thread back to the bend of the hook and add a bit of super glue. Now clip a clump of chartreuse bucktail and pull out all the underfur and longer hairs. Tie it in on the back of the fly, extending rearward about two hook shanks in length. Now clip a very large clump of chartreuse craft fur and pull out all the underfur. Tie it in on top of the bucktail, extending rearward about twice the length. Add a bit of super glue to keep everything secure. Now pull out a small amount of purple unique hair. Tie it in in the middle of the clump with two to three wraps. Then pull the forward facing fibers rearward and clip to the same length. Now taper the ends of the forward facing fibers so they aren't square. Then tie those forward facing fibers in rearward. Now clip off a few strands of silver crystal flash and tie it in in the same way you tied the unique hair. Clip and prepare a large clump of black craft fur and tie it in in the same length as the chartreuse craft fur. Add some glue for durability. This is saltwater flashaboo that we will tie in on each side of the fly to give a lateral line effect. Now prepare a large clump of black arctic wind dubbing by pulling apart all the fibers to align them. Then tie it in in the center of the clump. Now rotate your vise over and prepare a clump of hot yellow arctic wind in the same way as a black dubbing. And tie it in on the bottom of the fly right in the center of the clump. Make sure to split the fibers to evenly part at the hook point. Then pull all your forward facing fibers rearward and tie a small thread dam in front of them to keep them angling rearward. Now do the same exact steps again with black and hot yellow arctic wind dubbing. Clip a few inches of red polar chenille and tie it in in one end. Now make multiple wraps with the chenille, pulling all the fibers rearward. Make it as dense as you want, but I find 10 to 15 wraps works well for me. Wrap up onto the hackle while pulling the fibers rearward. This will angle all the fibers to the right direction.
Add some more glue to keep everything secure. We are now going to add two more sets of black and hot yellow dubbing to finish off the head of the fly. Make sure you prepare the dubbing the same way as you did before. It helps sometimes to pick out the fly between these steps to ensure the fibers are all lined properly. After all four clumps of dubbing are tied in, it's time to whip finish your fly. Pick out the fly once again, and then brush it out, forward and then rearward. I like adding eyes to this fly. I use Fletch Tight for adhesive, but a gel type super glue could work as well. When adding eyes, you want to make sure they are even before letting them dry. As you can see, this is a very flashy and colorful baitfish style fly. It is also very large, so it'll be really good for pike. It has some really nice movement in the water as well, and has a very slow sinking type action. And with quick strips, it will get a side-to-side -side motion as well. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, I listed all the materials used today in the description section. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Now it's time for you to go catch some fish.